Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Monster Review where we do tech, tech tips, and how to videos. Today is another, I guess it's a tech tip slash how to video. I guess, I don't know. You saw my other video on the Go Control Z Wave garage door controller, or we'll just call it Go Control for short. Um, you saw that it was a very simple device, and the way it controlled your garage door was very simple. I was thinking to myself, what else can we do with this garage door controller it's very simple and you know any device that just needs a brief bridge in order for a button to be pressed or something to activate could be used with the go control so you know i went around the house looking for different things to possibly hack with the go control and guess what i found my car yes there might be a way we can hack that go control to open this car now before you know we jump into it there's some tests that we will have to run and i'll show you exactly how to run those tests now also note you do need a remote for your car now this is a 2009 car so all i have is just one it's really beat up so it's kind of useless i just leave it in my draw so it's perfect for me i don't even use the key fob anyway so i don't care if i have to sacrifice it for this tip so keep in mind that you will need to sacrifice a remote to do this hack. Just like with newer garage door openers, if you want to use it with the Go Control, you have to sacrifice a remote in order to get around opening your garage door. And if you want to learn more about the Go Control and the garage door, click this link right up here and it'll take you to that video. A lot of great information in there. I'm very tempted to tell you now, but it'd just be much easier if you just click the link. All right, so let's head over to our workbench and start testing. All right, so here we got the remote for my Ford Focus. Let's go ahead and open it up. It's a battery. All right, so the unlock is right here. That's what I want Alexa to do. I just want her to unlock my car door if I ask her to. So looking in this general area, the contacts should be right in this area. And if we look, here's the contact right there. Those two right there, that's the contact. And just to give it a test, definitely need the battery in order for this to work. All right, let's try again. It's always an issue. One gets bigger than the other and just makes it difficult. Okay, here we go. Alright, that worked. Alright, so to make this as easy as possible, I'm just going to solder on two wires to the contacts and then we're going to splice these wires into the Go Control. So I did two different methods. This one, I put the solder on the wire first and attached it to the board. This one, I put the wire onto the board and then soldered it onto the board. So that's why they look completely different. But nonetheless, they're on there pretty good so now that the wires attach and I put it back in the case all I have to do now is drill a hole through the battery cover then I can push these wires through and then close it up okay so now that I have two holes I can go ahead and feed the wires Okay, so that's how the final product looks. Two wires are sticking out, just like I intended. All right, all that's left to do now is just to make sure that this still works. Yep, still works. Okay, another thing we can do to test to make sure that we soldered it on correctly is we can go ahead and just strip a little piece off of here. A little piece off of well actually it shows already and just touch the two wires together to make sure that the car unlocks all right so everything is installed correctly so we got the go control here let's go ahead and just open the go control and right here where these wires are we're going to go ahead that's where we're going to connect these two wires to. So let's go ahead and strip them back. Everything is connected and 
car still works. So now I gotta go ahead and fix this. Yippee. All right, everything is soldered back on. Let's go ahead and seal this puppy up. Okay, so we are finished with the hack. So I got the uh, remote and it's wired up to it. And then also the garage door opener that's wired it to it. So let's go ahead and reinstall it. Everything is back to where it was. I reinstalled the Go Control, wired it back up, put the remote back where it was right over here. I powered it back on. And so now all that's left to do is go into smart things and recalibrate it by just opening the garage door and closing it back. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into the Alexa app. Okay, so just open up the Alexa app, go into routines, add a new routine, click on when this happens, go to voice and type in open car door and save. Then go to add action, smart home, control device, and look for garage door. Here it is. Turn on garage door. Next. Add. Then create. Okay, all that's set up. Let's go into smart things here. Click on garage door. Then what you're gonna go ahead is you're gonna ahead you're gonna go ahead and you are going to open the garage door. And then you are going to close the garage door. And when you refresh, your garage door should be closed. Okay, so everything is set up. Everything is good to go. Everything is plugged in. I let everything sit for about 12 hours. So basically overnight. And um, I had locked the door. This morning when I woke up, I came out here. And basically what I'm checking for is any uh, shortage in the wiring that I did. If there's a shortage, the lock would have popped. But the car, it's still locked which is awesome that means that there's no shortage and um yeah it should work just as planned alexa should be able to open it so now the moment of truth let's see if it works alexa open car door And there you go, that's how to open your car door using Alexa and also the Go Control Z-Wave garage door opener. Now, this hack is pretty cool, but at the same time, it's not really usable. At least for now, I have to think of a different setup. Now, a couple of problems I'm running into is that because there's only one connection on the, um, on the Go Control, I pretty much have to splice in my car remote into that connection, but that connection is um is also for the garage door so i have both of them connected to that one port and what happens is that when alexa opens the uh car door the garage door will also open but there's uh there's a shortage going on and the garage door doesn't open all the way it just rises up and then stops but the car door will open another problem i'm facing is that when you tell alexa to open the car door and she opens the car door the remote will just go into this this frenzy and it'll just keep popping up the lock repeatedly until you disconnect the battery and plug the battery back in so um you know this setup is brand new there's probably there, there's there's a lot of room for improvement but as of uh, right now, I'm going to probably have to disconnect that car remote because it's messing with the whole smart garage door opening setup that I have. It's causing more problem than it is beneficial. What I can probably do is I do have a Viper alarm system installed here. 
Um, I gotta find that Viper remote. It's somewhere here. I'm gonna try and use that and see if maybe it works better than this car remote. There probably is a way to have separate modules for your car door and garage door. Um, the only one I can think of is just buying two modules, two go control units, one for your garage door and one for your car door. However, there is a problem there though. This this smart garage door opener comes with a sensor on the door on that side and basically that sensor is what detects if the garage door is open or closed. Now what happens is that if you send a command to the go control and it does that command but it doesn't sense that garage door is open or closed, it hangs up and it's in an unknown state and when it goes into an unknown state you can't use it unless you recalibrate it and to recalibrate it you have to manually open the garage door let it sense that it's open and then close it and let the sensor sense that it's closed. You wouldn't be able, even if you bought a whole separate unit for your car door, you wouldn't be able to use it because of that sensor. You would probably have to find a less sophisticated Z-Wave garage door opener, one without a sensor maybe, or just any Z-Wave device that pretty much bridges a connection briefly when you send a command. Something like that will work perfectly. I just pretty much worked with what I had in Go Control garage door opener but nonetheless it did work we were able to pop the lock with Alexa another thing I have to mention is that you can only do one command you can either open the lock or close the lock those are the only two you can do thanks for watching this video on unlocking your car with Alexa if you have any suggestions or improvement that I can make or a theory of what could possibly make it better be sure to leave it in the description below give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful if you didn't thumbs down works also thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one